shit. Uh, I hope we're at minimum watching here. One second. I don't have chat up. There we go. I have chat up now. Okay. Uh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, food. Everybody. I am here. I'm just trying to get things set up. And I have a weird way of getting things in here. Um, uh, right, yeah, okay. Ah, oh, damn. I don't have, I don't have a crucial piece of software for this. Okay, that's fine. We're getting chat up. Okay. You got what I need. Okay. All right. Um, right. I just totally blanked on that one. So I'm going to get some music up in here. Let's hope it's not too loud. I hope you guys, yeah, you guys can hear me. Okay, cool. Um, and no. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me know if that's annoying because you might be able to hear... You might be able to hear the uh, speaker that I have so I can hear the music. get rid of it and we can just I can just let you guys hear the music and make sure it's mixed right yeah just let me, let me know if anything is too loud How's that? How's the music now? Let me know. We'll wait for stream delay. Um, or we can just cut out music completely. <laughs> either, either way. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to run through what I've got going on. I just, I did a last minute adjustment because I'm, so I'm making barbecue beef, right? But I already made it. It's in. It's in, it's over here. Ah! One second. <sighs> okay. New setup. New setup. Getting getting used to it all. Here. So. <laughs> Great shot. Okay. Um. So that is. 
where the beef is now, and that's where the beef be for a little bit longer. Because I gotta explain what we're doing. Why? You know what? What's the what's the use? Why why not? No music good. Okay, sriracha. Yeah, we have some. Why why should should I explain while I'm doing it or should I explain? before I do it, because I feel like it'd be too professional if I explained before I do it. So maybe I'll just explain while I do it. Uh, and then no one will be able to understand, and then everyone's gonna have a bad time. And that's what we want. We want it to be a shit show, because it's more fun that way, right? It's... <laughs> so I need to shred this beef that's been cooking for like nine hours now, and take the sauce. I got... So I made this sauce, I put some of it on the beef, and then I'm going to combine it back with this sauce in a pot after I strain that sauce, the sauce that's on the beef, for uh, solids and, and fat. And yeah, oh, let's just get into it. I'll explain it while I'm going. So, I need a... Whatever. Bigger is better than smaller. Too small. Oh yeah, what am I fucking doing? You guys need to be watching this. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. It's a big reveal. Of the booth. Doesn't look that good. It's just regular old beef that has been cooked and is in some juices. Okay. Nice angle again. This <laughs> is great start, great start. Why can't I get it out? Okay, there we go. Alright. So why did I do that? Why did I do I didn't need to do that. There was no necessity for me. There's nothing necessity. I'm trying to think of how to do this without using the most shit, but I'm just gonna do it with a bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna take all my beef out of that and don't need a teapot. I put the camera right in front of me. This is why all the people in the cooking shows get their stuff out first before they even think about saying action. So we just gotta get all the beef so we can shred it. You know? It's a little, it's a little dry. It's a little dry. But I think once we shred it and we put it back in the sauce and we'll be as dry maybe. I don't know. It's I mean it just fell apart though, so that's dry is better than stupid, am I right? It's better better to have dry meat than stupid meat. I don't know what that means. Don't ask me what that means. No, it's not. Okay. Now, here's the time to make a mess. Beef cam. Alexa, read my chat to me. I wish I had a. I don't wish I had a. Okay. We're gonna pour this in. Oh, I got a money shot. Gotta let you. So this is a. This is a fat separator. It's. It's just fat. Um, and so you pour some you know something that you want to separate the fat in and you just let it rise to the top because the way it, it's structured like the the spout kind of lets things lets the fat go to the top without you know without like the as you can see it has this I don't want to ruin it because I think that's how you ruin it. 
This is your uh, <laughs> Okay. Alright. So you see how it has the spout. And like... I don't think there's enough sauce to actually have the fat rise to the top. There's not. It's, there's basically no point in using this fat separator. <laughs> That's what I was told to do with the god dang recipe. But I also cut the recipe in half because I'm one, one, one old owl. Old owls can't eat that much. They can't eat a lot, actually. Usually because they're feeding their babies, though. I ain't feeding no babies. I ain't got no babies. Not yet. <laughs> okay. I think this is... I mean... I don't know, should we just say fuck it, like... There's probably a lot of fat... I don't know. I don't know what I should do. Should I keep this? Because this probably has a lot of fat in it, right? And like, it would just be pointless to keep this if we don't want the fat, but also it would be pointless to throw this away because this is good barbecue covered onions and we like that we don't hate on the barbecue covered onions just because they look like trash doesn't mean they are trash it would just be a waste to throw them away should we just say fuck it to the whole because there there is fat like congealing at the top of that the fat separator but i don't think it's really doing much That's good eating, maybe. <laughs> maybe. We don't know yet. We, we still got a lot to do, I think. Alright. I don't know if I should get rid of this. It would be really wasteful to get rid of this. You know what? I'm just gonna... It didn't drip on the floor. It's okay. Gonna put that... Put that on the side. In case. So we gotta let that sit for a little bit. Um, what I need to do is scrub some radishes. All that does, because I'm making a radish, radish mint salad. We're gonna do that. We're gonna get the scrubby bits. And we're gonna scrub them. Scrub these dang old radishes. There's some dirty boys. Oh! Dude! If only there was a camera on the camera, I think there would be way more goofs and gaps. Just trying to let you see what I do. that once uh, dyed her hair with radish juice. Pretty interesting thing, I, I guess, if you have a lot of radish juice, and you have radish juice, just use it to dye your hair. It looks good, only lasts like a couple days, but you know, looks good. Does look good. I don't think your hair smells like radishes. That would be a downside to that. <clears throat> don't want to waste. Don't want to waste the water. We got some good water here, we don't want to waste it. We just want to get rid of this dirt. Get some of this radish. What are you doing on this radish? Get off! 
Okay. <coughs> We're doing it. We are doing it. Can't see that. I'm sorry you can't see, but this is hard to do. I also can't see the chat. Rewash that because it's just got radish bits all over. It's not that bad. Alright. I'm fussing around! I got some radish dirt in my mouth somehow. Okay. That's good, I think. I hope this doesn't stain shit. This is probably gonna stain that. All right, whatever. Who cares? Who really, who really cares? Not me. I don't care. I don't care what we got, what we got. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I felt the same way. Uh, when I saw Analog without, without, the beard, and then I saw him with the beard, and it was just very confusing. Very confounding. Okay, I need to remember what to do. What to do with the, the, the beef. Specifically in what order, and uh, I need to remind myself. Give me one second. Pull slightly, then shred into the discard fat, transfer beef to large bowl, cover, and keep warm. Okay, that I wasn't doing. Alright, I'm gonna shred this. Because I was supposed to do that. It says shred it with two forks. So I'm gonna do it. Even though I could have done it with a potato masher. Uh, honestly, I don't know why I did. I think it, no, the potato masher wouldn't be big enough for it. <laughs> Get a better look in here. How I'm doing this. This is a great, great shot. You're totally under my arm. Taking you under my wing. The proverbial wing. I wish I, I wish chat was bigger. I really wish chat was bigger. You guys gotta get, you gotta get, eat your meat, cause I can't see you. You're really skinny. And you're really far away. Wait, what the? F what am I doing? I, hold on. Okay, that's better. Is it better? Okay, yeah, that's better. <laughs> yes, it is a slow cooker, but... Uh, okay, I have to make the side, too. Like, I'm making the side. This is, yeah, this is, like, kind of a lot for a slow cooker meal. But at the same time, honestly, the amount of prep that this took wasn't that much. For, like, in other slow cooker meals that I've had were a lot of prep and not a lot of stuff after and this is like kind of evenly out like the prep wasn't that bad but this is kind of making up for it i don't yeah is that shredded good enough yeah I really okay 
I'm gonna keep. Okay. I need to keep this covered, and I don't want to cover it with foil because that would be a waste. So, I'm gonna cover it with a plate. I'll just use the plate later. Uh. Uh, let's, uh, uh, strain cooling liquid and fat separate. Let's sit for five minutes. Discard solids. Bring the fatted liquid to simmer in saucepan. Over medium heat and let cook until thick and measures one cup. Whisk in reserved ketchup mixture. Hot sauce. Vinegar. Okay. Yeah, I'm not using this big pan. Okay, we're getting the small pan, and we're gonna put this in here. I have canned pickled beets in the pantry, now I want some. We should go get those canned pickled beets. Because they're all that you have. Okay. That is fat separated sauce, kind of. There's probably still some fat in it, but I tried my best. You all saw I tried my best. Can't report me to test kitchen. Because I tried my best. And... Oops, wrong one. Shit. Okay. Damn. This is so much work. I like it. It adds more work to cooking, which is just what cooking needs. Cooking needs more work. Um, over medium heat and cook until thickened and measures one cup. 20 to 30 minutes. So it says to simmer over medium heat since and I will do that. It doesn't say to cover it. So I won't. Uh, and then after that, we're going to whisk in this, which is the rest of that from earlier. And then my other ingredients over here. So just to explain what I have here, this is actually in the, these two things are actually what is called for. Um, Vinegar and hot sauce. I, I only have chili hot sauce. I don't really like hot sauce, so You know, I don't have much of it, but like It calls for um, Liquid smoke which is supposed to give it a Smoky flavor. I don't have that shit uh, <laughs> I don't have it. I just don't have it and um so I'm going to like give it a smoky flavor with this chipotle and this is like chili infused olive oil. It's supposed to be roasted chili so maybe it'll give it some smoky flavor. I don't like hot sauce. I, don't like it. I tried it. Well, okay, so here's the thing. I'm trying to get into it. I'm trying to like it. And maybe that'll work. Um, all right, I'm gonna zoom in chat a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, this is beat shit. <laughs> Don't look at that. Uh, um, <laughs> Damn it! You fucking you, that threw me off so bad. Okay, um, do I need to do anything? Okay, I don't need to do anything for this twenty minutes, and it's not even simmering yet, so. 
Uh, we'll wait for it to simmer to start the timer, and I'm gonna make my beet salad. I just have to figure out how to make it. Um, and well, first I have to get the shit to make it. I don't. I only have the beets and. Sorry, I I whacked the microphone. I'm sorry. Uh, I only have. <clears throat> I only have the beets. I don't have the spices. I just need bit. <coughs> ah. I need water. I'm talking too much. Alright, I need olive oil. Shit, I don't have a shallot. Shallots are like onions, right? Oh, audio adventures. Um, shallots are onions. Yeah, okay. Chive, chives will do. Dried chives. I don't have mozzarella cheese. Um, I don't have fresh mint, but I'm sure I have mint in here. Uh, do I have? Is there mint in here? I think I know where the mint is. Give me a So entertaining. That was probably really loud. I'm sorry. I have the mint. I found it. I found the mint. It was in... box of the other spices. Got it. Okay. Uh, what else? I need salt and pepper. Oh, shit. There's another thing with lemon juice, and I don't have lemon juice, so I'm doing lime juice. Dijon. should I do? You guys can choose and then I'll get the mustard that you choose. Okay? I'm sorry for these bad, bad angles. Mint is maybe not a spice. I don't know, but it's a, it's a thing that you put on things. Uh, so fuck you. I don't have, wait, maybe I do have more. I found some funky, funky free, funky cheese. It's got cranberries in it. So, 
we'll see how that does. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Dijon, okay, Dijon. No whole grain mustard. Fuck whole grain mustard, even though it's sometimes better. Depends on what it's on. Uh. Okay, I think that's everything. I just need to chop these babies. Just need to chop these babies and not have my two recipes be in the same spot. How about that? Oh, okay. It's simmering. It's probably been simmering. So I'm going to do 16 minutes on these bitch. I think I'm supposed to be stirring this uh, every so often, so I will do that. Oops. Oh, sorry. You're gonna have to look at my disgustingly burnt hand. I'm sorry about that. Probably very, very too close shot of it. Um, can cranberry plus cheese equals good, yes, but is it good with radishes and Dijon mustard and mint and lime and olive oil and chives? What, what is this? Who makes these things? Me, I do it. Sorry, I just need to get the knife. I don't know where the knife is. I found the knife. Come on, pal. Pal. Get your fucking shit out of here. Oh, I killed someone. I killed someone with a lot of watery blood. Um, why am I looking at that? That's not gonna tell me shit. You know, I'm just gonna not look at the recipe for this one because I don't care. Like, it's just a salad. Like, you can't fuck it up, right? These are way too big. These slices are huge, right? No, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna make them these quarter bits. I'm gonna finish slicing them. Wait, are you supposed to peel radishes? Oh, I burnt my hand on, on the oven. I was... Uh, are you supposed to peel radishes? It doesn't say anything about how do you prepare the rat, so. Yeah, you are. There, there's no way you can eat that tough outside, right? I don't know, I've never, like. Bro, I'm an idiot. It actually doesn't say anything about preparing the radishes, so even if I did read it, it wouldn't have mattered. Because... It didn't tell me, so... Uh, for the other radish, I will... Um... Actually peel it, but... I love mint, too. I love gum. Only problem is, is like, the immediate second that I have gum means, in my mouth, means that for the next three days, I will be chewing my teeth non-stop in my sleep. 
like I have an oral fixation apparently. So it kind of just ruins. Them. These don't have a lot of flavor. They have a really good texture. Am I right? Like, you can't eat the radish skin. I, like, tried to eat it for, like, a second, but maybe that was too short. <laughs> it was attacking knife! It didn't want to... Or it really wanted to be cut. Can you guys hear me all right? Are these beets? <laughs> yeah, radishes are white, right? <laughs> okay, now I have beet salad, okay. <laughs> all right, wait, wait, wait. I, for some reason in my brain, I thought these were radishes. <laughs> Uh, oh, nice, you're cutting foot's hair. Okay, can you eat beets raw? Am Are you allowed to eat beets raw? Okay, all right. Thank you for seeing that analog. I would have never... Beet juice, that's what I... I, I knew... Because I was saying earlier, I don't know if you guys could have heard me, but my friend dies her hair sometimes with beet juice and it looks really cool but I like when I was saying radishes I knew it didn't make any sense because like radishes aren't this in my brain obviously I knew it deep down okay all right you can eat them all we're all good I'm just gonna continue to keep going when we're cooking and we don't know anything about what we're doing, we just cook. This is, I'm not actually doing any cooking on this. Spring. Sorry, I just had to stir the sauce. House. Very quick. I had to quickly stir this house. This is that's gone forever. It's okay. Everyone likes beets. Everyone likes a red cutting board. Everyone who knows what they're cooking with. Thank you for saying something, Analog. Thank you for speaking up, because I would not have known. I, this whole time, I would have continued calling them radishes. And I knew radishes, like, when I bit into it, I was like, that's not what a radish is. I feel like I just don't cook with, like, roots enough to know. I know... <sighs> Because there's a recipe that I read that called for either beets or radishes, I don't know, but when I was in the store, like, not, obviously it wasn't panicking, but, you know, you know, they, like, they're, they're trying to make people work as efficiently as possible and, you know, not spend as much time because they are counting how many people are in there and limiting it based on that. So I wasn't trying to hog a spot or anything. And, I don't know, just in the heat of the moment, I... This is not how you do this. In the heat of the moment, you know, I got, I got these beets. I was like, hey, I think there was a recipe that used those, so... Don't know if I have anything else, but at least I'll have these.
if Lou and I ever do actually have a cook-off, uh, you know who's gonna win because one of them doesn't even know what the fuck they're cooking with until Analog says it in chat. I wasn't sure either. other food that does that other than humans. out the T-Rex Pyrex trying trying to do, do okay trying to control this radish situation that's what we're really all doing in life is just trying to control the radish situation but the radish situation always controls you and I'm gonna get my phone red too Okay. Oh, I <laughs> I was reading the recipe and I thought it said gently skew gently squeezed lemon juice and I was just like why does it need to be gently squeezed? Are we that are we that worried about things now? Okay. Sorry. Getting off topic. Getting off topic. I should get the lettuce now. This is pretty sad lettuce. Pretty sad. So that's what you get when you buy bulk in plastic. Looking pretty sad. Fucking shit out of here. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna get a wide. You guys want wide angle or closer angle? So you can. Which one do you want? I feel like this is better. Look. What? <laughs> I'm not gonna take it down. I don't care. Not my, not my deal. Not my deal. Not my deal. Not my deal. Alright, I'm gonna... Here. Put these romaine back in the fridge. They go. I don't have room. Drawer is begging for mercy. It has a lot of veggies in it right now. Um, right, we're gonna wash these off real quick. And 
and use a salad spinner because it's spin. Spin! Because, I, like, you know, paper towels are short and expensive, so you might as well just clean to take the the time to clean a salad spinner instead of using paper towels, right? I feel like that's the move. This is not supposed to be doing this. It really is. contemplate using, using those or not. I don't know. I'm not too picky when it comes to lettuce. Like, I really am not. Like, I'll, I'll eat that. You have way too many special tools. Uh, do you do you want to get in front of me? Salad spinner is not special. Is is a sal is a lettuce spinner special? Cause they're like five five bucks. And you never have to wait for. Okay, we gotta, um, things are happening in, in Sauceville, Sauceland. I'm getting radish everywhere. I need to wash my hands. <laughs> it's beets, it's not radish. What am I doing? I'm psychopath. Okay, fat separator, yeah, fat separator is a special tool, but like, you need that if you're making sauces or like, broths, which my stepmother do, so, if he's where we are. Gas range, little circle brush, fat. <laughs> what is this little circle brush? And what is a gas range? What are you saying? Okay, I need to. I'm gonna take this off the heat because I need time. I need. <laughs> I don't have time to think. Um, strain, cook for 20, 20, uh, maybe I should cook it for longer. Yeah, no, 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 no. It says 20 to 30 minutes and I only did like 20. So I'll let it keep cooking then while I, I figured this out. Um, so I need to get whisk in this hot sauce. How much hot sauce? One tablespoon hot sauce. Which, by the way, I'm, I'm having all of this. So it's one tablespoon hot sauce, cider vinegar, and then one teaspoon liquid smoke. So. What is that? A third of a tablespoon. I'm gonna have is a sixth of a tablespoon of the. Okay, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, gas range is your stove that uses gas. Okay, all right. Yeah, electric, I have, we have electric ones at the dorm and, and it just like, everything seems to just burn way quicker on them and yeah, I just haven't done, other than at my dorm, I haven't done a lot of cooking with the electric, so maybe that's my fault. Maybe it's just my fault. Okay. Maybe it's not the, the electric stove's fault. I mean, you could tell me probably because you, you have an electric stove. For, for way longer than I have had it. So, it says whisk in, but I don't want to use another goddamn thing. So, I'm just gonna pour it in. And then stir it. Shit. Do I have, oh, I have the forks. I have the forks. Works of justice. This is terrible noises. I'm sorry for all of your ears. Okay, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I have to keep like stopping myself from like eating things just as I go because that's not what you do when you're, you have people watching you cook. Like when have you ever seen, I don't know, who are famous television, I don't know anymore. What's her name? Like the 15 minute cooking recipe woman that her fucking recipes are never 15 minutes to fucking cook they don't take that long to cook it's not possible what's her name I don't know. you can't cook a whole fucking meal for four goddamn people in 15 minutes it's not possible you're insane I don't know how to open this right That's like a half of a teaspoon. Then we need a half of a teaspoon here. Ugh, that's so big. Wait, is it apple cider vinegar? Okay, yeah, it is. I just need to double check. All right, that's way more than a half of a teaspoon. Well, that's pungent. That is pungent. I'm closing it back up. And then, so this is to replace the smoke. This and the oil is to replace the liquid smoke, which it's supposed to be a teaspoon of that, which would be a sixth or a third of a tablespoon. So this should. Okay, tiny bit, tiny bit, not that much. Okay. That didn't work. It didn't. It just didn't work.
You're serving it. Eat what you want. Uh, by volume and the amount. Okay. All right. I'll just eyeball it. pepper to taste. Alright, I'll let that... Oh, it's already kind of simmering. But... Yeah. So, I think that's done. And then we mix it with the beef. That's what we do. So, uh, do I already have a Okay, then we'll have you on the show. By we, I mean me. It's just, it's just me. I'm the only one. I am the hive mind. So. Alright, we gotta get uh, like two thirds cup of this. So, see, I'm just eyeballing it. I don't like bringing out like the third cup measure and just doing two of it. It's just easier to do. Like, what is 75%? That's like 75% of the can. Maybe a little too much. Ah, oh, shit. You're supposed to save the rest just in. Yeah, measure or like whatever. You can always add more can't take away so we're gonna go with that old adage even though uh, that is rarely gone by because it was the time okay sorry I was doing other things off screen, that's why I was just holding it there. Okay, that's good. Bring back the forks. That's why in my opinion you should never put things in the sink. You should just let it clutter around the sink because it's always, you know, you never know if you're gonna need it again. All right, and now I had diarrhea. Isn't it, isn't most food just look like diarrhea? There should be a study on that. How much food actually looks like diarrhea and why you should care. Advice, hire me. Okay, we gotta finish this salad. Um, wide angle shot again, sorry. I don't have a fish island, so that kind of sucks for this. I, is there like a is there like a Simon the Magpie of cooking? 
I feel like there has to be. I'm not talking about like cooking with Babish. All these like fancy looking cooking shows. It's like, I understand it looks better when it's fancier, but like at the same time, why the fuck does it need to look fancy? It can just look good. By region. Okay, we're getting a little, <laughs> we're getting into bad territory here. Um, yeah, that also begs the question of whether or not you consider like, um, like, like just terrible food, like food enough to contribute to that. Because I, because like, if you go on like the cooking channels of YouTube, and you find the worst shit, you'll find people that just put mayonnaise on everything, like mayonnaise and baked beans, like two fucking gigantic clumps of mayonnaise on baked beans, it looks like diarrhea. And like, would you consider that? Because America would just win. Because America has a ton of those people, I think. For some reason. And it's not just like crazy people. It's like because they they're always like, oh yeah, this is my mother's my like my aunt's recipe. Like Aunt Myrna, I I'm thinking of one fucking actual person, but I can't think of his name because I have terrible memory with that. Shit. Ah! It's okay, no raw meat has touched that. Yeah, no, Simon really is the only Simon of anything. I think that's a fair assessment. So, I'm like kinda cutting this recipe in half. This, this is also a recipe for radishes and sn sugar snap peas, neither of which I have. This is just, I'm taking the like fresh minty thing and putting it on other things. Um, how much mint? One teaspoon of fresh shallot. So that would be like a little bit of chive. That's not what it went. Salt. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Please don't. No. Okay. That's like a little more than a teaspoon. Um, that's... Yeah, that's way more than a teaspoon. Ah, where is the mint? Whole grain or olive oil, minced shallot, black pepper. Three tablespoons. Okay, so... Really what you're saying is one and a half tablespoons. Oh my God, that's so good. Wait, is it say fresh mint? Yeah, fresh. Okay, so, all right, that's good. Cause it's not fresh mint. So usually when you're fresh, you like, it says three tablespoons of fresh since I'm cutting in half, I'm gonna do way less than that. Yep, sorry, I <laughs> just like repeated what you already heard. Um,
Breaking out the double corks again, I rinse them off. I don't think this is enough of everything. This doesn't look that good at all. <laughs> Yeah, like, honestly, hipster fruit, like, all my bosses at Forced Exposure were, my, my two bosses at Forced Exposure were vegan. Like, and, I'm not vegan, but, like, every now and again, I'll just have an all-vegetable day, or, like, I'll, you know, I will only eat a salad for lunch or something, and it's, like, I don't know, it's just, the food is good, like, Sometimes having just a ton of heavy food in a week is not fun. And it's just like, yeah, fuck that. It's not about being trendy any like I think the trendiness is kind of going away. I mean, well, yeah, no, that's not true because you always have a new trend like the keto diet and the paleo and all. Well, I mean, you don't hear about it anymore, obviously, but like you used to hear about that like the new fad diet which is always just like not that actually good for you oh yeah it's supposed to have cheese see this just tastes good it's light it's not in your face taste it's just a light Nice taste, because I already got the fucking barbecue. Why do I need... Why do I need more boldness than that? good I'm making salad alongside to eat alongside my barbecue beef a beet mint French kind of salad yeah, I only say French because it had the Dijon mustard in it it has mint in it though too what the fuck Yeah, oh yeah, you missed uh, the whole, uh, like, 30 minutes where I was convinced that the beets that I had were actually radishes. They weren't. They were, they were beets. And, I, yeah. Should I, should I, like, try to plate this as good as I can? Or should I just show you guys a fucking... gonna use the plate that I use to cover it and keep it warm. <laughs> it's not gonna look good. It's I don't know what I'm who I'm trying to fucking bullshit right now. Oh! But it's not, it's not gonna look good. It's just not. It's not. This world 
Our eyes were not meant to see barbecue beef next to a beet salad and say, oh, that looks like those two things are right next to each other. Fuck. that there's like a giant trail of barbecue where that was okay there it is that's it that's all I'm I want to eat it I don't want to think about making it look good it does it just it the the Beets made the, the lettuce look really fucked up. Like, yellow, you know when lettuce gets like that age? Yeah, it just looks like that. But it, the lettuce is fine. It's a little, it's a little too crisped out. Yay, lose Goku now. Alright, well, that's it. I, should I eat on stream? That's like kind of not cool, but should I? Should I eat it and go, oh, it's so good. I did such a good job, guys. Waiting for stream delay. Yeah, okay, you don't stream, alright. say that that's not cool yeah I mean the barbecue I let it get cold because I took way too long with the, the rad radish and snap pea mint salad uh, no the salads actually way better than I thought it was gonna be and The beef is just barbecue beef that isn't overly barbecue because I actually No, I know you meant I was gonna puke but just the thought of that is like not a pleasant thing To think about when you're eating Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full not cool and so yeah um uh, I just don't like overbearing barbecue sauce. So you kind of see it's not that soused. It's like conservatively sauced. You know, I like my sauce right wing. Yeah, I don't like, I don't dislike radishes though. Oh, oh big pun. Yeah, sorry, I saw a big bunch. Oh yeah, no, if, if they were actually radishes though, that's when I ate it and I was like, that's not a radish. And then you said it, it really wasn't a radish. Uh, 
I like my South's right wing, yeah. I do. I like my South to only think about conserving the... the... Alright, not gonna get into it. That's it. Thank you for joining me. I know there wasn't actually a lot of cooking with this, but it was like 20 to 30 minutes of cooking the sauce. Again, more. Um, next time, I think tomorrow I'm going to be making shepherd's pie. I think. It depends. So maybe tune in for that or tune in for something else. Uh, I don't know. I love shepherd's pie, but problem is I have a ton of things that could go bad. So I just need to weigh my choice. Like I have cauliflower. That cauliflower lasts like a week though. I do have a grill, but I don't, that cooking outside is just going to be way harder. Cause like I, my laptop is going to be outside and inside and ah. <laughs> I have like a grill attachment for this though. Like you put the grill thing on it. You just do that. It like is basically a grill. I mean, it doesn't get as hot as a grill because fucking grills are mega hot. But yeah, I need water. What did you guys cook? Yeah, yeah, I had I had leftover curry today. Yeah, it would unfortunately it would be a production challenge. What do you guys want to see me cook, though? If you want to see me cook anything, do you want to see me cook more hippy dippy foods? Because I have a ton of quinoa and a ton of fennels. I got... I was able to acquire... Um... Wheat? wheat flour that's like used for because I know you guys uh, yeah it's pretty much just the bambonis here um like <laughs> yeah no yeah yeah no it, it 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 doesn't get that that like attachment doesn't get that hot it just gives you the grill lines which is the appearance of grilling I just don't like, I'm not that good at cooking meat. Period, but especially in a pan. So, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a ton of meat, like actually cooking meat, but just, I'm sure most of it is going to be preparing it for the slow cooker and then like showing you the final product at some point. Recon oxide? What does that mean? You recognize? Oh, is that your yeah, fucking autocorrect, man? Yeah. Oven food is. Even though, by the way, the easiest fucking thing I cooked in the past 
whatever, was the thing I wrote. That Betty Crocker brownie shit is fucking, it's a hard ass fucking cookie. It's just a giant brownie cookie that's basically a rock. I can't do anything with it. I'm not drunk. Banana bread. Yes, Analog, please do a wait and drink stream. That would be really fun. That would actually be really fun. What the fuck are you saying, fuck? Smogun. I don't know what that is. I don't know. This fucking collab is the shit. I forgot. I keep forgetting to get water. I'm gonna sit down. I don't think that's that's good for your. Digestion to not sit down. That's what my mom said. And my mom said a lot of right things. Like, your father sucks. Thank you. It is a beautiful shirt from a beautiful band. Just moving my microphone and myself. sit down on stream. Ain't no one ever done this on a cooking show. Sit down and have a nice chat with, the, with your friends. Okay, that has actually happened on a cooking show. And those cooking shows are like the worst. Where it's just like people and their friends and you don't care. Like you, you just don't care. It's a waste of time. It's basically like just watching an ad in the middle of your cooking show but this is not the worst because I'm not watching it I don't have to give a fuck because I like you people <laughs> See. if you ask someone from India eating standing up is probably better than eating sitting down like upright in a chair. Yeah, I like can't, I can't wait to actually like have a cookout with you guys. Cora foot dip. Analog, Lou, everyone just having a nice cookout, doing what we're doing now, in real life. That would just be great. Listening to some ambient breakfast collab. I need my napkin. Oh, yeah, sure. Seth, come to the cookout. So what, if I list you first, then I'm, I'm nepotistic because you're my boyfriend, or I list you last, and I'm negligent because you're my boyfriend. So what, like, I just don't, like, 
lists don't actually because obviously I want Seth to be there so if the list matters yeah exactly I, d I didn't need to mention you because that's like we're basically like the same person and we're like always near each other and like You like my ethernet cable? Running from like 30 feet because I want a stable connection for streaming. Lou, you don't get to go first just because you're my boyfriend. Sorry. That's not how I roll. I honestly can't wait to have the barbecue stuff for leftovers and actually be able to eat it warm. I don't know. I don't care. Not that big of a deal. Like some people complain when, when like things are, are not warm and it's like, ah. There's a worse, there's a worse thing than having not warm food. Like, if the food doesn't taste good, that's like obviously worse. And if I really wanted to, I could just heat this up, but I, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I mean, at a restaurant, that's different. Like, at a restaurant, I understand. Like, even as a server, I won't be like, nah, fuck you. Like, I, well, obviously, as a server, you should especially be that way. But, <laughs> yeah, for, I'm, I'm down. If people, other people are down. I, I gotta finish homework first, though. I don't know how much you guys want to stay up. I'm drunk. Dip, I like how you called me drunk. Oh, no, you said, I'm sorry, I'm drunk. Or maybe you said I was drunk. I don't remember. It looks like I'm just looking at myself, which is really funny. Hello, me. Hi. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, it is only eight. It's like eleven here. I'm gonna get a little more. I'll rate this. I'll get seconds out of ten. That's my rating scale for this recipe. These two recipes. I don't know if I should be rating things. I think if I, I don't know. If I, if I do this again, I would probably experiment with the sauce and add some weird shit. Because while I don't really like barbecue sauce that much, I do like weird barbecue sauce with like fruit and shit in it. Like blueberry barbecue sauce. Something weird. What was that behind me? Oh. This is a rug.
your manger. Tell Liz I said, cool. Hey, I guess I should end stream and start cleaning things up. Because this is going to take a while to clean up. Mmm. Co uh, coconut barbecue sauce. Okay. I have to think about that. Sorry. I have to think about that for next time. What was it? Blackberry and red wine? That is fucking crazy. That has to be really good. Half and barbecue sauces? I have coconut milk for Yeah. See tangy. Tangy. Is it a Simon of cooking shows though? Because that is what we need on this earth. We need a Simon of cooking shows. Someone who's wild, experimental, unapologetically a hippie, and just like fucking everywhere. Just like absolutely everywhere in the medium of cooking. Yeah, a dirty, drunk, crazy man, foreign man. And without the fucking posh bullshit, everything's warm sepia tone lighting. You don't need that. Call him a hippie too. Call him up. Call up Ramiro. Call him up. Say, eres, tu eres hippie. Tu eres hippie. Tu tami. Your dad is a hippie. Your dad was a hippie before I was even born. So he's way more of a hippie than I am. Yeah, Lou, what make? Chaos is. Yeah, so, um, Lou's father is a wonderful, sweet man, but his only way of communicating with me is just making jokes. Because I don't speak Spanish that well, and I'm dating his child. So it's a weird position for him. 
I'm sure, just like, it would be a weird position for me if I couldn't speak the language of my child's partner. I would probably just <laughs> be in his position too, yeah. Cheese omelette with Chinese rice. Is that a Cora? That's a Cora. It's Cora, darling. A pathetic sunrise. I want a little more of the beef. So yeah, what I was saying earlier was I have semolina, which is a Middle Eastern type of wheat flour. I got it on the low, low, dirt cheap for what it is. Like Amazon tries to sell it for like 20 bucks, but I got it for six bucks for two pounds. Great shit. And, um, so we're going to do some of those, uh, Syrian cookies because, and probably some puddings. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do some stuff with that semolina. It's supposed to last a really long time, so it won't go rancid or anything. Anytime soon. I think the thing is, is like, we all need to shower. I don't need a shower. I had a shower earlier, and it was good. It was a good shower. Lou knows. Lou called me in the middle of it. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah! I love this track, too. It's great. It's a sweet track. It's simple. Guys, Lou is so productive. Everybody, look, Lou is being productive. Lou got way more done than I did, and I still have to fucking clean up this goddamn shit show. Arr. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna end it. Thank you guys for sticking around. I think that's the only problem with this is that I do actually just want to like sit and talk to you guys. And that will probably be the end of me because I'll get super distracted because I have, I have got to clean up. And I mean, obviously, like this was way later because 
I kind of made in a last minute decision to make this BBQ and I was just like making fun of it because it had and I was like maybe I'll make it I don't know I don't know like I really don't know why I made it it was just I've never made barbecue before other than with pre-made sauce so yeah well I'll definitely do it again I like it too uh, way easier than fucking cooking simulator, by the way. Actually, cooking is easier than cooking simulator. Cooking simulator is like trying to cook with two left feet on your fucking hands. What? Rachel Ray, thank you. Fucking, I couldn't think of her goddamn name. Liar with the 15 minute recipe bullshit. Rachel Ray, get out of here. Ain't nothing takes fucking 15 minutes. That took 10 hours, and I don't care. It was good. Rachel Ray can stuff it. Fuck you, Rachel Ray. Sorry. She's way better cook than I am. She could make way better barbecue sauce. I didn't mean to go off on Rachel. I really don't have it. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with making a stupid marketing scheme about 15 minutes. I mean, is there though? Is there something? Oh, no. Rachel, wait. Ray, just go away. Rachel, not the magpie, right? <laughs> Lou, stop bragging about how quick you are at everything. This took me 10 hours. Yes, let's get in a call while I clean up. I'll mute, obviously. I won't. Yeah, but I have... So, I have this set up so I don't have to break things down. The only things I have to actually clean up is the food, which is normal. Like, I the microphone and the webcam, I can just snap set up. I mean, the microphone is always going to be in here, uh, so hopefully nothing goes wrong with that. But, uh, the webcam, I can just bring it up from downstairs and no big issue. Um, yeah. So, thanks for joining, everyone. Thank you. Audio, thank you. Foot, Cora, Analog, Lou, last dip, but not least dip. But not least, uh, thank you, everybody, and to anyone who didn't say anything. Tataki was here at one point. I don't know if he's still here. My parents can not get here because they're in South Carolina, so I don't care. Who said, who said, no, see ya, bye, oh, I can't end the stream, oh, I have to go downstairs, alright, I'm gonna go end the stream from downstairs, thanks guys, you can look at this empty screen for a while, while I go through that.